Hello everybody, my name is Aceface. We're going to be testing out a Praxis Fit for the Winter Nexus. The new Winter Nexus, the Winter Event, the Sanchez Nation, I'm baiting New Eden. And we're going to be trying out an Alpha Clone Fit, Praxis Fit. Uh, one thing I will note though is my character right here, he's got pretty good Alpha Clone skills, so just an FYI. But I think you could probably downgrade these to meta ones because I got like the rapid heavy missile launchers, the tech 2 ones. You could probably downgrade it to tech 1 ones. I'm going to test this out here with you guys and we'll see how it works out. But my experience so far in these new Sanchez sites, they're, they're a pretty bit easier than the previous Blood Raider sites. So I doubt this is pretty much the same fit I used for the Blood Raider sites that were this autumn or this Halloween time. Uh, I, however, downgraded the tank a little bit. So I removed a EM a module here and I put it a capacitor power relay. And then I put a bunch of application modules because there's a lot of small stuff here. I'm still rocking this artillery cannon that I used in the Blood Raider event. And I think this is good to just get a bit of alpha damage going on in the boss when it spawns in. Because you've got the good alpha, you've got the good range. So we're going to go and test that out. Got some drones as well to get some extra DPS. One thing I need with this ship here is to have a mobile track unit because that could be good to pull in some loot. So we'll bring that with us. I was thinking of putting a mobile or a tractor unit here or tractor beam, but I saw the the tech one one is only 20 kilometers range. And I have actually found that the, a, the boss spawns in a little bit further range than 20 kilometer range. So I would rather just opt in with a little bit more DPS and the tractor beam. But I don't think that artillery cannon is doing too much. But anyway, before I undock right here, it's quite important to clean your ship. And also another thing that I want to say is that we are going to have a skin giveaway in this video right here. Three skins for the Stratios are going to be given away. The Stratios Scope Syndication skin. This skin right here. I think it's a pretty sought after skin because when I had this skin previously for the Astero a long time ago, a lot of people really wanted it on the ship, the Astero. And this Stratios is the big brother of the, on the Astero. So three of these are going to be given away in this video right here. The way you can be in the giveaway is subscribe, leave a comment down below and make sure you put your in-game name. Extremely important that you put your in-game name because if you don't, I can't give you the skin even if you win. Okay, let's get down to business. So. Undock right here. I'm going to look for the systems that have the Winter's Nexus in. Now, a tip from a viewer was that you could look on the map and you can actually find the Winter Nexus sites by going on the map. But I actually know that there are already certain sites that have uh, Winter Nexus sites in them. And I know that Tuntaras is at least one of them. So we're going to go here to, I think it's Ikuchi is the first system and then Tuntaras is the next system. Oh, there's a lot of noise right here. I'm going to turn it down a bit. Okay, there we go. Turn it down a bit. I'm going to regroup my drones a bit to prepare them. We put them like this DPS one, and then we go in the map. You can find these options with metaliminal storms. This is what you can use to find where the winter nexus sites will spawn because they spawn in like a particular uh, area or particular system that has these certain like winter storms. You can think of it. I just need to find this right here. Tuntaras, we'll just jump there. There we go. Metaliminal storms under geography. So you can see here that they're like these dots that appear now. So we go to them. We can see that in Tuntaras there's one here because I knew that there was already one there. We can go to these systems here and we can find metaliminal storms, which are pretty much going to be the like ice storms that occur, the weather where these sites spawn in. We can even check if there are any nearby by going in the agency. We'll see here. Agency, encounters or exploration, combat. See now, Tundras. Oh, there's nothing here even here. Okay. We're going to have to look a little bit further. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go to those red ones, the ones with a lot of those ones here, like this one, Lidokin, right here. So we'll jump through here and we'll go to Lidokin because there's like a red one here. I'm not sure what it's signifying by the redness, how strong the storm is. If there are more sites, we'll see here. Oh, there is something here, but it is not a combat site, it's an ice mining site. So not really relevant for us because we're going with a combat here. Well, a lot of application modules on this ship right here. Got the uh, dual target painters plus the precision script and we've got the rapid heavies. So we're going to be doing so much, so, so much <laughs> uh, like damage with our missiles because we're going to get hopefully perfect application with the furies. But if we don't, we can always switch over to Kaldarian heavy. We're doing EM damage because EM resists the lowest of the Sanchez. I was thinking of putting an EM hardener but I feel like the tank is not too like challenging in these sites because when I use the Kronos, like I know, okay, Kronos is not a good benchmark for tank, but it was barely going through even my shields in the Kronos. And I mean, the Kronos is an armor-based ship. So 
I think that we have good potential to fully tank these sites even without an EM module. Just with these two armor repairs and reactive armor hardener, I think that's going to be enough to actually tank these sites. But we'll see. That's the whole point of this test right here. Ooh, look at that. Look at all these sites right here. Wingston forward base will go here. Warp drive active. Bonus to shield capacity, bonus to ECM range, mining speed. Okay. It's good to mine stuff here. Hmm. Oh, look, there's a lot of different battleships in the grid or on the disc scan. And I wouldn't be surprised if it is from this, uh, these sites here. This one right here. You can even check by putting a bit of a cone. There we go. Look, there's even a golem. So probably we will not uh, win that at all, actually. But I'm quite curious to see how the application goes for in the like just the basic NPCs. Because that could at least be interesting to see. We can claim some rewards as well. Just by jumping here, get a pair of rewards for doing almost nothing. That's some nice scenery right there. Look at those, like those uh, snow asteroids. It's really cool. Just jump in here. Now the tank will be a tall challenge right here in this site because there's already people here. And they're very good people here as well. Practice Scorpion Macarial. Here what is going to be a good test is our application. That's the most thing I'm interested in right here. But I think this site just disappeared before our eyes. <laughs> oh, there's some people who are wanted here as well. So we've got Praxis over here. Okay, he's gone. Let's see if we can find some more sites. Tama. Oh, look at all those sites in Tama. Unfortunately, there's no sick. Lidokin there are. We can continue on our way to Lidokin because that was the original system we were going Warp to go drive, to. You can see tons of sites here. It'll be good. We'll go there. Hopefully, we'll get some good loot. We need to hit NPCs with the snowball. Look at that. We've got some interesting challenges right here. <laughs> To hit NPCs with snowballs. Uh, unfortunately, I have not got a festival launch on my ship right here. Well, that is a challenge if I would want to get some more skins. Get some reward tree from this whole quest line, you could say. From the Western to Nexus, you can see all these different skins. We've got some, also some filaments crate. I wonder what you get from this. Ice storm filaments, okay. I think it could be that you get some special filaments that lead to ice storm systems so that you could use it like for transportation easy Warp into high sec. I think that's what some of those filaments can do. Okay, we'll jump here. We see that there's two praxis on the directional scanner. Hopefully we can outcompete them. We'll see. Hopefully. Might be an option to go with torpedoes. Might be. Because if we got so much application modules like we've got right now, it might be a bit of a waste to go with these uh, rapid heavies like we've got right here. I'm a bit familiar with this new UI. Okay, we've got modules, torpedo launcher. Jump in. Come on, come on, jump in. Okay, let's see now. Where is the torpedo oh. launcher? Okay, just about able to fit the torpedo launcher. Okay, we'll go with Kaldari Navy Mjolnir torpedo. What? Okay, that is less damage than a uh, rapid heavy. In fact, okay. Interesting to see right there, and the range is really bad. Oh, the site is just finished. Ah, just about the last second. They were here just a moment ago, and now they're gone. There's a few quite far away 35, 25 AU, or 32, 25 AU. You see that star over there? That's a Pochvin system right there that was invaded by Triglavians. A lot of people have been killed there. Or people have been cut off from the rest of the galaxy or rest of our inhabitable new Eden solar systems. The poor souls there. And you can see them, but you can't do anything about it really. Warp drive active. It's quite tragic how you can just see the star over there. Jumpy jump, please. Oh, look, there's a lot of people here. Gila, Legion, Oracle. This is where the artillery cannon will come in quite handy, actually, because it will get a big alpha and get in some DPS very quickly. Instant DPS is quite important. 1k volley. Come on. We can actually check by looking at the loot. Let's see now. Rex. Go here. Is there any large wreck? No, there's no large wreck. Okay. Hey, look, the boss spawned in just like that. Exactly when we came in as well. Oh. Exactly. I wanted to see how good... Uh, Come on, we probably won't even get enough time to lock him up before be able to do anything. Ah, uh, yeah. Like, ugh, that was a pretty annoying uh, coincidence right there. That happened to just cover the, exactly the wrong time. I first went to the other one, 
and then this one was still existed and it came here at the wrong time get something here in our cargo no there's a red dot right here as you can see we'll see if we can find anything nearby agents and info exploration combat anomalies oh in isan ammo wow let's go here Warp drive active that's a lot of uh, sites right there hopefully we can finally get one there's a lot right there look at that six of them and then we just go there and every single one despawns right in front of our eyes <laughs> but it's good to have a loot filter right here because you can see like if there's a large wreck and you can see okay they've taken out the boss they've not taken out the boss or there's no wrecks at all that means they've just started but you have to be quick you have to be quick you have to get in there quick but i'm glad that you don't have to travel a, a certain distance because uh, the previous Blood Raider event, you have to tra like uh, travel a bit of distance. So if you wanted to outcompete people, you have to have a good prop mod to get in fast, to get in the site quick. That limited or uh, handicapped the, your fit of life. If you wanted to have an MWD, you could obviously use an afterburner, but you still use an extra slot. You won't really need get much use of otherwise. Uh, one thing I was actually thinking of using, depending on how good this practice does, is to use a battle cruiser. That was something I was initially thinking of doing is like either Prophecy or Harbinger. I think they'll be doing pretty good. Armor based ships have high EM resist. We take EM damage here. They also are like they can do EM damage with the pulse beams or the uh, the EM missiles and EM drones, the Prophecy. And that's good damage to do with the sand ship. So I think they would do pretty well here if the tank will allow. And they would also be a lot cheaper than a Praxis. So that could be something to test out. But unfortunately, in real life, I don't have much time right now. So I won't really. I don't think it's. I think it's quite unlikely that I'll get around to using that out. I'm probably just going to go through the Praxis because the Praxis seems to be like the all out best or like the most reliable alpha clone a ship for just these general kind of high six sites. Okay, so they've gone through a few NPCs that have been destroyed. Mm hmm. Let's see who is there. Jump. Warp drive. D scan. Active. Praxis, Praxis, Gnosis. Okay. Hopefully we can out compete. Hopefully we can out compete. I feel like my dual rep build is even maybe too overkill because there's just so many people here competing over sites the tank is going to be so like useless oh my the, the boss is already here come on come on deploy drones shoot this shoot this shoot this come on I don't think we'll be able to do it because he was hitting the boss for quite a while and there are a lot of few, very few wrecks here and I'm guessing that's because he must have salvaged them or something. We can deploy our mobile track unit just in the slight chance that we might do something but I don't think so. I really don't think so. We're overheating a lot right here. Uh, how fast is he? He looked like he jumped quite far right there. Oh wait, we got it. Wow. That was so great. We actually managed to get it. We actually managed to get it. Oh, victory from the Praxis. Managed to just jump in there, snag the loot, even when he had all his, uh, all the, like almost all the, half the shield plus destroyed. We did that much DPS. Because if we go here, and you see how much damage we do overheated, we do quite a bit of damage right here. Almost 1.3k DPS. Okay, 12 million. And we got this Sunyata booster right here. Heat damage modifier. This could be good to have. Oh, we can't use it because I think I've already got a booster active from the login rewards. Heat damage modifier. Okay, yeah, it's pretty, it was this one as well. We'll grab this loot. There we go. And we'll grab our mobile track tune as well. I think we need to repair up our, <laughs> our modules, but you know what? We're just going to continue on. We're not going to bother overheating if we have to burn out so much stuff. Actually, I'm quite curious which ones have NPCs in because I would like to do one solo. That would be quite nice to have. There's a rattlesnake. Praxis. Praxis, Praxis, Gnosis. There's no one here. 2.3 AU away. Is there one here? There's 2.3 AU. No, that's an old one. Because when they're like... When a site is completed, you can still see them in the overview. But if you don't see them here, that means they have been already completed. Okay, let's see. Which one should we go to? This one, maybe? This is the SLV one. And we can align just in case with the Rex. 
What kind of Rex have we got here? There's no Rex. Okay, we'll warp here to this one. Warp drive active. Reload all our weapons. Like really, the NPCs there weren't. <laughs> it was just a boss. There was nothing so far. We've just had to get bosses, and that's it. It doesn't seem to be any sort of resistance otherwise. And I think that's a bit unfortunate because I would like to like uh, get a bit of a better test for the application of this ship. Okay, there's no wrecks nearby, so this is an untouched site, it seems. A fresh one. And we're not going to overheat here because we're taking so much damage. But it will still give us a good idea of our DPS. And I mean, if we win and we're not even overheating, oof, that'll, that'll give us a good idea of how good this ship is. Hey, look, we've got all these NPCs. Okay, so now we can get a good idea of the application at least. Hmm. We'll put our mobile tractor unit. Can I put my mobile tractor unit? Put on the world track unit. We've not got Rex on the overview. Let's see if we can. No, our artillery cannon is not doing anything. But I think we are getting full application from these missiles at least, so that's good. Yeah, we've got the dual target painted, so I do think we're actually getting some decent DPS. 2.3k volley. And we're doing like 1000 something, so we can check what the resist profile here to see how good like damage we do. And I think that is almost perfect application actually. Because since it was like um, 2 point something K volley and they had over 50% resist. So I think that's actually a perfect application on the cruise at least. We can try applying to these frigates see how good the application is here. Let's reload because we need to have the full clip when we're going to go for the boss. Very important to get the full clip going on. We'll also get the, uh, the drones out here. We have the drones go for the small stuff. That would actually be quite useful. Because our target painters, they're assisting our drones, making it so that we can... They can do more damage, because they'll make the drones, uh, the enemies bigger, and it'll make it easier for the drones to hit. Lock up this other guy too. We've got Gnosis and Praxis, hopefully. We will destroy the boss and outcompete these guys. But we'll see. Without overheating. That's why I want to see how good it is without overheating. The Praxis, it can use drones, but the reason I'm focusing on missiles here, you can see the, uh, the triple ballistic control systems, is because you can achieve actually a bit more DPS if you focus on Tech 2 missiles and focus only on the drones. Because you can't use Tech 2 drones as an Alpha Clone, but in Alpha Clone you can use the Tech 2 heavy missiles. So you do actually do more damage if you focus on your missiles here. So that's why, if you're wondering, this uh, ship is focused very much on the missile side rather than the drone side here the drones hardly do any damage in comparison to the missiles you can see here 240 dps drones 800 of the of the missiles to give okay. the command to a drone requires you to have an active target go on shoot 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 got the artillery cannon going on i have our oh look at that our drones are taking damage can have them go close. I think that they will probably not get damage if the drone's up close. We might lose that drone right there. Let's see. Uh oh, we might lose that drone. I think it's more safe that they're just staying there, keeping up transversal. Let's see now if we can... Oh, come on! Yes! We won! We didn't even have to overheat. Oh, great. The Praxis is strong. The Praxis is strong. Yes. Yeah, I, I like this Praxis fit here, right here. It seems to be pretty strong. And I mean, we're not even using the armor repairs, guys. <laughs> we're not even using the armor repairs. Obviously, there are people here. But what I'm saying is, um, I feel like we could almost put, like maybe replace one of these capacitor control circuit rigs and put like a bay loading accelerator. Medium bay loading, large bay loading accelerator right here. Get even more DPS. Look at that. Even more DPS. I don't know if it's worth it. So I feel like we might be able to get more DPS if we focus on less on the tank. But I'm still curious to see what. Oh, that was crap loot right there. What the actual uh, that tank will hold up in a solo room because it doesn't seem like we're getting much potential of testing out the solo capabilities of the ship right here. We're just seeing what the 
ship is able to handle when it comes to multiple enemies or uh, people here helping out. Then again, there was just one Praxis right here. Hmm. I think that it's, we've got a pretty good tank, to be honest. Even if we were solo. Let's see if there are any more sites right here. There is one over here. Let's see, I have on the D-scan. Are there Praxis Rattlesnake? A bunch of people. Let's go to an adjacent system. Let's see if there's anything here. Sobaseki. Let's go to Sobaseki. Claim some rewards right here. Oh, the amount of grind to get through all those challenges. I I, I really can't uh, have the willpower and energy and time to do that. Not now, at least. I'm not too fond of these skins that we've got. You can see the skins they're awarding. This is not really my type of skin. I know it can be this color scheme, but it's not really my type. Wingstorm one over here. Orb drive active. Paladin. Ooh. I mean, it looks all right. It looks all right, I think, but it's not. It's uh, too bright colors for my taste. I think if it was completely in teal, I would have preferred that than this purple back here. I'm quite curious what this skin is, though. I don't think I've ever seen this skin before. Oh, there's a bunch of people here. Seems like there's a bunch of people here for going there. Drive active. Praxis. I was curious, what are these author skins right here? I've not seen this on the market. Oh, look, there's no one here. So we've got a fresh site to ourselves. Oh, -hoo. it's great to see. Ah, oh, there's a Praxis here. Never mind, never mind. Make sure we deploy the mobile tractor unit. There we go. Two practices, in fact. I guess if you're a new player and you are able to get some high DPS and are worried about your tank, it's probably going to be a lot safer for you to run the sites here in uh, the G2 region. I mean, it's going to be a lot more difficult to get the loot because of the competition. But if you've got like a really good DPS skills but still worried about losing your ship, it's probably going to be a lot safer to go here. And we can even see here, we're getting a full aggro room right here. So it might be still a good understanding of how good our tank is. You can see, start shooting these um, these frigates. See how that goes. Because look, now we're taking a full DPS apart from that one cruise over there. And we're getting some decent application here, like 400 damage. Got very high resists on the EM damage here. In fact, probably would have maybe been better to go with some other type of damage type on these guys. Now we will have to use our armor repair at least. Let's see now. Kinetic might be pretty good, but the shield is EM. It's good. Hmm. We'll check the boss. What is the good damage type to have there? Because it might be that there's a better damage type for us to have there than it is on these like small NPCs right here. Do we get through these small guys? Then when we come towards the end, we're going to reload everything. Can even reload this artillery cannon. No, never mind. It's full full clip right there. Will we ever take uh, the armor damage? Hmm. Doesn't seem like it. Okay, now we're going to reload. And we can use our Praetors to take out these ones at close range. Hopefully we don't take too much damage because the drone aggro here is pretty hot. Pretty damn hot. Hmm, okay. Almost done, almost done. Some pretty powerful practice right here. Uh, it was a good time to reload because this is almost, this frigate is almost destroyed. Then we've got this cruiser right here. Okay, we'll do the target painters here. He's shooting the other guys, I think wonder where the boss will spawn because it's quite random where the boss spawns somewhere around here i remember there was one boss spawn for an event a long time ago that it was a very particular space or place in space where you knew where they spawned so you would like go to i think it was like to the left and somewhere there they would always spawn there but here it's very random once it was here once it was here once it was here i guess it makes sense you want it to be a little bit less predictable here it's not everyone can just camp there the highest dps close range ammunition okay time for boss time I wonder if we're going to win this competition. Two Praxis over here. There he is. Two million bounty as well is pretty decent. Shoot, 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 shoot. Let's go, let's go. Okay, let's check his resist profile as well. Okay, so he's got low EM in the shields, low explosive in the armor. Hmm. Okay, I wonder what would have been the best damage type here. Because he's got very low explosive. Did we win there? Oh, we won. Yes, we 
he won again. <laughs> this Praxis is very strong. Very strong indeed with the Rapid Heavies Tech 2. Looty loot, looty loot. Let's grab the loot. 18 million. And we also got a Glacial Drift skin that can be worth a bit. I wonder if we got anything from those small wrecks right here. I don't think we do because I didn't see anything drop from them. With the Octa, how much does this sell for? 4 million, okay. Then we get some Pyrolancias. You can actually potentially get pretty good Pyrolancias here because they can be worth quite a bit, especially like the high tier ones. I got one yesterday actually, but I haven't, uh, this, these, those ones are the worst you can get, but you could potentially get a lot better. Okay, I'm gonna go dock up in one of these Raitarus right here to go and repair my burnt out modules that I've not even had to burn out a whole lot here in the last two sites. So it really shows how powerful the ship is. We could get a lot more out of this by overheating the guns more put some more damage modules do you know uh, if you're interested in increasing the damage here it would be better instead of putting a capacitor power relay and replacing it with a fourth ballistic control system it'll be better to replace a capacitor control circuit and put like a calfaction catalyst i think a large calfaction catalyst will be best or a bay loading accelerator i mean depends what you feel like a tiny bit more dps if you go for the bay loading accelerator the calfaction will be a bit more efficient like use it just makes each missile do more damage rather the bay loading accelerator increases rate of fire but using one of these replace the rigs try to put a tech 2 one here will increase your dps by a bit like a significant margin and that will be better than having another like ballistic control system here you can get more dps to be able to outcompete maybe even some pirate battleships as well I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if the ship here can already outcompete some, like, low-level pirate battleships that are not really fit that well. But in these tests so far, it seems like it was a successful test with the Praxis. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If it is in the description below. And don't forget the giveaway. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.